right, so I changed some of my controls. Uh, he had the pump speed. Basically, it's just my idle speed. So I have it set to where it only goes about 50% and it stops. So if I'm running it, I'll only have it down real low anyways. And then I have this switch at any time. Like for instance, if I just want to raise the boom real quick, I can flip this, it turns the pump on. It's just easier than uh, messing with the dial. And um, my tracks, I have a tracks disable switch right here. And these are my track controls, these two outside ones. He had them on the two inside ones. And I don't hold my radio like that, I hold my radio like this. So tracks on my thumbs works really good. On the inside it was difficult and you hit your sticks. <clears throat> So anyways, I enable my tracks with this all the way up, and then So I have it in the middle. In the middle does nothing. It disables all controls for the excavator. And go ahead, boss man. Um what else did I do? That was the main things I did. I've still got the lights on that switch. Um, let's see. Yeah, so my my track sound. I changed uh, the swing speed, made it go as basically as fast as it can, but I did leave a, uh, a little buffer on it so that it doesn't come to a screeching halt. But there is no slop at all in the swinging so yeah I just basically modified uh, controls to my liking oh I want to show you what I did in my trailer here I can actually fit an excavator battery in there perfectly. So, the trailer was made for the excavator. I have it open uh, two notches. Uh, it fits the excavator perfectly for width. <laughs> 